are voters demons? How easy is it to blame voters for electoral results? Politicians often do this. It's happened recently again in India. Are they justified to blame us for our choices? Quick take, I'm Smita Prakash. While addressing the Congress party's political rally in the state of Haryana last week, Randeep Surjewala said that the rivals BJP and JJP are parties of demons and those who vote and support the BJP have rakshas pravarti or are demonic by nature. Bhartiya Janta Party ko jo vote dekta hai aur Bhartiya Janta Party ka jo samartha hai wo rakshas pravarti ka vyakti hai. Today on this land of the Mahabharata, I curse them, he said while cursing the opposition, probably not the voters. Is he the first to do so? Not really. It's happened before, not just in India, but even in the US. In the 2016 US presidential election campaign, Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton used the phrase basket of deplorables while speaking about her opponent, Republican nominee Donald Trump supporters. She called them racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic and Islamophobic. Maybe some of them were some of those things, but to castigate all rival supporters backfired on Clinton. At a debate, moderator Anderson Cooper asked, how can you unite a country if you've written off tens of millions of Americans? Clinton responded by saying, my argument is not with his supporters, it's with him and the hateful, divisive campaign he has run. Back to India, hate and divisiveness is what the Congress accuses the BJP of. Rahul Gandhi, in fact, has made Pyar Ki Dukan, Shop of Love, his lead motive. Broadly, it means that love is what binds congressmen and women to the party, as compared to the BJP, which they say rules with fear and hate. If that is so, then Randeep Surjewala's comment of cursing the opposition and calling its supporters names is not in keeping with the anti-hate campaign that the Congress has launched. The fact is that the BJP has won two successive general elections by massive majorities, 2014 and 2019. So in effect, a comment calling those who voted for the BJP as demonic would mean calling hundreds of millions of Indians rakshasas or demons. It's going to be a hard-fought election in 2024. The stakes are high as the BJP is going to be fighting an anti-incumbency factor after being in power for 10 years and seeking five more. The Congress cannot afford to lose yet another election under the stewardship of Rahul Gandhi. An entire generation of leaders in the opposition would be seeing their careers ending if the BJP comes to power yet again. There are also several state elections coming up in the months prior to the general elections of 2024. You can be certain that some politicians will make the cardinal error of not realizing that voters are a diverse group and name calling will result in them being discouraged to vote for you or vote at all. Not healthy in a democracy. Yeah.